who actually knows me in person, you'll know that I like two things in life. I love a good hat. I have many different hats, whether it be a woolly hat, a sock hat, or a flat peak. But the other thing I really like is a bag. I love bags so much. This is the Polar Pro. No, it's not Polar Pro. Ah! <laughs> it's kind of been a bloody video about the Pete McKinnon and Polar Pro variable ND filter. This is the Pete McKinnon and Nomatic, or if you're in the UK, the Gomatic Sling. I picked this up because I wanted something a little bit lighter, something a little bit more nicer to carry around when it's a red hot day. Like the other bags I've got are huge. So I thought I'd pick this up and see how I get on with it. So you can get this from the Gomatic website in the UK for £150 at this moment in time with free shipping. But why don't you treat yourself 10% off with the discount code GOMATICUK10? Why not? Also may I add, even though I'm talking about discount codes and everything else, this is not sponsored. They haven't sent it to me. I haven't been paid to do this. They don't even know I've got one. And this is 100% my honest opinion like everything else on this channel. So what do you get for your £150 or your 10% off if you use the discount code? You get the sling bag itself and a strap which clips on from the front across to the back. It goes under your arm and it stops the bag from swinging around when it's on your back. There's probably a technical term for it, but you also get a couple of these little dividers which go inside the bag. You can take them out, you can put them in, you can shift them around or whatever. So you can make it fit for the equipment which you're putting inside the bag. It's water resistant and that's why I love it. If you buy a fabric bag, if you're out in the rain, it soaks up all the water. The more water it soaks up, then the wetter your camera gear gets. But this doesn't do that. And I'm not saying it's waterproof, so please don't go get in the shower, you know, if uh, you love it to that extent. But for general rain you get here in the UK, even though we haven't had rain for like the last two weeks, which is beautiful it should be pretty good for most situations inside you obviously have some space for your gear i could fit my a7s3 and a couple of lenses in there you can also put your drone in there if you want i could easily fit in my mavic air 2 and the controller or if you shoot a lot of primes throw your primes in there carry your camera around all day you can easily access all your primes and switch them out and do whatever you want you also have two dedicated filter pockets which you can hold up to 82 millimeter filters. These are so useful because if you're like me and you have a variable ND filter, you're filming, you go inside, you need to take the variable ND filter off. You need to store it somewhere. Then you need to get it back out, put it back on. Oh, I need to take a photo. You take it, I'll forget. I have two variable ND filters, the two to five and the six to nine stop from Polar Pro and I can stick them both in there and take them out, put them on, take them off, put them back in as much as I want. And they don't get scratched or damaged just putting them in your pockets with your keys. You also get two spaces for camera batteries, which fit most, if not all, camera batteries. They fit the Sony ones. I'm sure they'll fit Canon. I'm sure they'll fit many others out there. But with two batteries in the bag and then one in the camera, three batteries will last me easily a day, maybe even a full weekend. You also get three spaces for memory cards, which if I'm honest, I'm not a massive fan of because I can't seem to push the memory card down far enough. So I'm always worried that they could jump out or go somewhere in the bag, then I open the bag and empty it and stuff, and then you lose memory cards. And when they cost a lot of money, you don't really want that to happen, but that's just me being a little bit more, um, you know, cautious, but that's just me. And finally, one of the best things ever is somewhere to store your keys. You get a little pocket with a zip on it, you can easily open it, put your keys in there, your car keys, a couple of bank cards, your air tags so you don't lose the bag, and even an elastic pull tab which you can pull across to temporarily close the bag, and it's completely silent. So it's really nice if you're in a quiet situation, you can open it up, get your lens out, switch lenses, put the old one back in, and then pull it across. And no one knows. It's amazing. As I said, it's great, but it's not 100% there. More 95%, you know, it's, it's almost perfect. You see, even though it's got all these features and it's all stuff which I really like to see in a camera bag, there are a few things that I would have liked to have seen or a few gripes that I've got with it. So one of the things I don't like about the sling is I don't seem to be able to fit enough stuff in it for myself. Like, fair enough, I don't want a massive bag which I have to carry around the whole time. I don't want to have to put loads of stuff in it because at that point you may as well have a larger bag. But when I'm coming out filming like I'm doing today, I like to have a camera, two lenses like my 16 to 35 and a 55 or an 85 or something like that just to get me the B-roll shots. But one of the most important things I need is a microphone. Obviously if I don't have a microphone you guys can't hear me. But in the sling it does get a little bit tight. And if I wanted to take my camera and a drone, I've got no chance of that happening. You would just be able to take one or the other. One of the things I do like about it is that you can carry the stuff you're not using underneath it. You can strap things onto the actual bag. For instance, last week I was working, it was absolutely boiling. I took a water bottle and just clipped it onto my bag underneath, which was really, really useful. 
but the straps that I'm using didn't come with this bag. It came with a larger Peter McKinnon and Nomatic bag. And it'd be really nice to actually have that as part of the package when you buy the sling. But even when using them straps at the tightest setting, it doesn't hold my PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro, so it's a little bit redundant. Now you could use other straps if you want, and that's probably what I'm gonna have to end up doing. But if you do want to buy the ones from Nomatic, they are an additional $14.99. But you know what? These things aren't my biggest problem with this bag. These are things you can get by with. End of the day, if you buy a smaller bag, you should expect to be able to put smaller amounts of stuff in the bag. It's a small bag. But the one thing I would have loved to have seen with the bag is a detachable strap. This strap right here, you can't take off. But you may be thinking, Danny, why would you want to take a strap off of a bag which you need to carry? Well, I also have the larger Peter McKinnon and Nomatic camera bag, the big 35 litre one which came out a couple of years ago. And this sling and the cube bag which came out a couple of years ago is meant to be able to fit in the top of the larger bag. The reason you put one of these two bags in the larger bag is so if you was traveling away somewhere and taking a lot of gear with you, but you were going out for a day trip and you didn't need to take everything with you, you could take one of these, put a camera in it, a couple of lenses or your drone or whatever, and go out and not have to carry everything with you. And the reason you put it inside the larger bag is because you could still fill these smaller bags, put it into the larger bag, and you've only got to carry one bag around with you, rather than two separate bags, meaning it's less awkward to carry two bags, but also there's less chance of you misplacing one of them. Now in terms of the cube pack, that fits perfectly. And I've been using that for the last couple of months, but this doesn't really fit perfectly. When I come to put this in the larger bag, the actual bag itself fits perfectly, but the strap just seems to get in the way. The thing is, the strap of this bag has this nice foam bit, which was really nice on your shoulder, but it's not exactly small and it just gets in the way. You end up having to push it down around places. And then the buckles where the strap attaches to just get in the way of the zip when you're trying to close the larger bag. I've been away twice in the last couple of weeks and taken the larger bag and the sling with me. And on one occasion, I just gave up trying to fit this into the bag. I took it out and just carried both of the bags separately. And the second time when I actually got it to fit, you'd take it out, you'd use it, you'd put it back in the bag and it just got fiddly once again. But if the buckles for the sling were designed very similar to the straps, which you can buy separately, it would make it much easier to detach the strap, put the bag away, put the strap somewhere else, and then you can zip the bigger bag up and have no problems. Now, I know these things create a make or break situation for me. I still really like the bag. Everything I've mentioned is only minor, and I'm just reviewing this from my perspective. And the things what I would like to see, but you guys may be different. But regardless, the bag is still really good, but you get the point. It's good to be thorough. And this summer, I will most definitely be using this bag regardless when I'm out making videos for the channel. And that was my review after having this for the last few weeks, but hopefully it's given you an idea of what you can expect if you're looking to buy one of these. If you enjoyed the video at all, then please, by all means, hit the like button as it really helps me out. If you wanna see more content like this, more reviews, more video content, more photo content, then hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I'll see you right there. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.